Hi everyone. Uh, welcome back. This is uh, episode 4A, uh, Equipment, Required Equipment, and Suggested Equipment. Uh, today we're going to try to punch out a f quite a few li few items. Uh, as, in, as you know, in the last one, uh, we went over some of the other required items uh, and the cones, flags, uh, and things like that. Hard hat. Uh, this one we're going to cover triangles, flares, uh, snow chains, vests, jacket, uh, first aid kit, and jumper cables, and a toolbox. Uh, now these are required items. They are not suggested. They are required, uh, except one item. Um, but we'll start out by, you need to carry a good set of tire chains for all four wheels, not just the rear or the front if you've got front wheel drive. You have to carry for all four. Uh, what I do is I purchase these outright, but uh, what I, I do also is carry a second set with me. I go to my local uh, tire shop that I use and I buy a set every year. At the end of the winter, I take them back and I'm given a full refund if I didn't use them. So you don't, you basically just rent them for the winter and you've got them with you. They, these ran me $35 and it covers all four tires. So that's one item you have to have if you're running in the winter time. Uh, next is a required item and these guys are heavy. These are your road triangles. Now these are for when the truck loses theirs. They just fold together just like that. And then the, the bottom turns sideways and it sets on the road. Uh, they are heavy. They're made not to blow over. They fold up. Get out of there. There we go. And they load in their case. There's three of them to a, to a case. And depending on where you're from, you need to check. Because some states are requiring us to carry up to four sets of these. They're, it's ridiculous. There's no reason. Idaho is now requiring or wanting to see four of these in your vehicle. The only time you lose them or use them is when the truck has lost theirs. That's it. It's the only time you use them. You do not use them on your own vehicle. You use your cones or your small flag or your little roadsides. You do not use these on your vehicle. Uh, these are for the truck. You can use them on your vehicle, but it's it's such a waste. Uh, I, I, I say don't even use them. Um, just have other things. Your other items, because those are heavy. And you put four of those together in your vehicle, and you're looking at close to 200 or close to 100 pounds between all of them. Uh, they range about $24 a set. Um, I buy them. I've got about 10 sets of these. Uh, I, I watch Craigslist, I'll be honest. And I picked up this set here on Craigslist. $5 at a garage sale. So, um, it's just, just watch where you buy them. Uh, I've got a brand new set, a couple brand new sets in my truck. So, um, but that's the other item. They, you're required to carry one set, and that's for if the truck, uh, one breaks, uh, another truck drives over them, whatever. Uh, you've got it as backup. Uh, the next item will be your road flares. Uh, Federal says that a pilot car has to have 12 of these. The link will be below. You can buy them. Um, the best way to buy them is through your local uh, uh, Walmart has them. That's where I buy them. I think I pay a buck. buck uh, I think they're right at a dollar each. Something like that. They're not that much. Or you can buy sets of 12. 
already in a little box and they're real nice kit nicely kept like that um, I bought these they were two dollars each the price is right there so um, depending on where you get them uh, uh, you can't get them on Amazon because they won't ship they're flammable you pop the top use the striker and light them and or you uh, in fact these here I think are ones that you just hit hit on the ground and they light um, I've never had to use them uh, they do have an expiration date on them uh, they're about five years so after five years you throw them out and you buy new so uh, but you have to carry 12 of them in your in your deal uh, in your pack uh, next is going to be let's go ahead and get into this one your safety vest this is just a standard one it runs nine dollars you put it on over your shirt and you're good to go it's nice bright it's reflective uh, 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 the link to ones will be down below and then I carry a jacket and this thing here will it stays warm when you're out standing on the side of a side of a side of a road for uh, one two hours in the winter time or in the evening or early morning uh, the links to them will be down below bomber jacket type uh, they run about forty four dollars so they're not that much and it will help you on the side of the road uh, the next item and this is required it's a first aid kit uh, get whatever you can uh, they have a half size box like this one for about twelve dollars this one here is twenty four dollars it's got everything in it you could possibly use in fact I've had paramedics use stuff out of this that they didn't have um, I bought this from Amazon I think I paid I think it was twenty four ninety five um, but and I've had this one to where it's almost at its expiration date now but it's got uh, snake bite kits in it it's got bee sting kits uh, it's got bandages wraps uh, uh, cold towels um, it's got everything you possibly need so it's a real good item it's something you have to carry some sort of first aid kit so uh, I've got one of these in each of my rigs um, like I said they're 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 I use them all the time uh, bandages I always cut myself so <laughs> it's uh, it's just something always uh, good to have on hand uh, next is a toolbox I cheat this is Harbor Freight I paid $29.95 for it on sale with a coupon uh, it's got everything in there that's required sockets wrenches uh, for small stuff uh, it won't work on a big rig but you, that's not your problem this is for you and whatever might happen with your rig your rigging your signs but you do have to have a at least a toolbox uh, next is uh, jumper cables these are 25 foot long and believe me if you ever have to jump start a truck on the side of the road you'll want them because this way you don't have to get in the uh, traffic line to jump start them 25 feet you can back up to the front of their truck and it will reach from your car back to the uh, uh, batteries um, I've had to use, that's why these are wrapped up like this I have used these for six years this set and I'll bet I've used them 200 times and uh, they're heavy duty they run about $30 uh, you can get them cheaper now on Amazon they've got a set that's 25 foot and I think it's $21 or $22 I'm guess I'm thinking if I remember correctly but uh, outside of that some of the suggested equipment I've talked about before um, and it's really for inside running the business and that's a wireless printer uh, this is something that you will you will need um, what well, you won't need it but it's good to have it this way you if the driver 
text messages or emails you the PDF file for the routing or the permits, you're able to print them out yourself. And uh, you can take your phone into the truck stop if you're at a truck stop and have them download it into your uh, you can email it to them and they'll they'll tell you explain to you how to do it to their email so they can print it um, most businesses if you're at the place where the truck is loading as soon as he gets his permits sent to him from the state and his routing sent from the state a lot of times the business that you're at loading they'll let you come in and they'll make you a copy of each page uh, most permits will, will run two pages uh, with an addendum page, uh, so three. And your routings can be anywhere from one page to ten. I think I think nine has been my biggest routing. Uh, and each state will be that way. And then along the way, if you leave the freeway for any length of time, you'll have a county permit. And if you're inside a city limit, you'll have a city permit. Or city routing and you've got to know these things if you're a lead or a high pole and uh, but that's that's a that's a uh, not a required piece of equipment but they're $39 you can get a, an inverter uh, off Amazon off eBay off at, at a local truck stop uh, loves and pilot both have a $29 500 watt uh, uh, inverters which you plug it into your cigarette lighter it gives you 110 volt you plug your printer into it turn your printer on and you can print um, I run one in each of my rigs and even though one of them never hit, doesn't even leave the county really here at home but it's got it uh, outside of that for this group I think that's it this was a real quick and easy one uh, these are these are all self-explanatory you can get these at any of your uh, local auto shops uh, Walmart carries them Home Depot Lowe's uh, they carry them um, uh, any any auto shop or auto store I should say will carry these look on Craigslist look on uh, uh, garage sales when you're going out around garage sale and a lot of times they'll have these laying around for a quarter a piece and there's a date on them down here it's an expiration date so you want to check that make sure you've got at least a year or two uh, I've got some are there three or four years past their expiration date and they work fine but if you do get inspected they will see them and uh, they'll they'll make you throw them away right then um, outside of that like I said our next video is going to be on running the business and uh, you're going to need invoices you're going to need a receipt book um, and uh, some other items about uh, getting paid how to what to use so anyway we'll get out of here uh, have a good day please like and subscribe uh, so you can keep track of all the rest of the uh, videos I'm going to be doing and uh, just a nasty plug for myself if you're into adventure and uh, getting out on the weekends take a look at my other website worldadventuremap.com it's also free um, myself my two sons and my grandson were treasure hunters here in the Northwest uh, for 30 years I've been searching out old mine shafts and rock quarries caves and things like that and on on the map uh, once you it's free to join it's free to use I I don't see any reason to charge for anything I uh, it's it, I don't know it's just me um, but uh, if you want to get out and about everything is on a map on a Google map right there on the page you can break it down there's 18 different markers that are on it uh, you can look at mines rock quarries paranormal places waterfalls caves historic sites uh, Bigfoot sighting areas uh, gem hunting uh, treasure hunting spots uh, and the list goes on and once you're a member and you get out there and start looking uh, you can go to the add a pen page 
and you can actually add stuff that you find on the map so others can find it. Uh, it's real easy to do. You can add photos of your area, especially waterfalls, uh, historic sites and places like that. Uh, it's fun to use and that's all uh, that's all I'm saying about it but it's another plug for me for my other website uh, uh, and my other plugs are I am an author I've got two books on Amazon uh, and local around here bookstores and mining supply stores I write books on Southern Oregon gold mining or Northwest uh, gold mining and mining history uh, but Shorty's Not So Lost, Mines and Treasures of, of Southern Oregon is the one. And the other one is Mining Principles of the Past. But uh, those are just fun. Uh, if you're into adventure and getting out and about on the weekends to do something, you can go to the map and follow the trail right to a mine shaft. I've got 5,000 members now worldwide. And they're all adding points to their areas. So we're filling up Australia, Germany, England, uh, all over the U.S. with all these all these maps. Canada, Alaska are being added in. Uh, there, if you're into shipwrecks, there's shipwrecks listed there, and if you know where some are, post those on. Uh, but it's just to have fun. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed what I'm doing here or trying to do here. And if there's any questions whatsoever, leave them in the message board below or text me or find me on uh, Facebook at uh, uh, Pilot Car Map on Facebook or Steve Shorty Owen is my personal site. Um, and uh, just have fun and be safe. We'll talk to you all again next time. Bye-bye.